What's up everybody? It's Pirate Prepping here and uh, today today I want to talk a little bit about information, media, news, whatever you want to call it, where we get our intel. Uh, look, things are crazy right now. Um, the amount of misinformation, conspiracy theories, all the bullshit being peddled right now, it, it's exactly what it is. Uh, there is agendas from every angle. Um, I, I spend a lot of time online, uh, and, even, and even there where you think you're finding actual factual information, uh, even that's biased. You really, it is so hard to wade through the shit these days that it just is one of those things that I, I have a hard time even even getting into this because it's so frustrating. Um, you think you have trusted sources and turns out even they're just regurgitating what they've heard or been said. And look, this isn't a right or left thing. I'm sick of all monikers. Right, left, middle, this, that, the other. Like, lies are lies. And right now, everybody has an agenda. Everybody has a reason to skew things one way or the other. Um, look, you don't have to be a Trump supporter or a Republican or a prepper or a constitutionalist to be unhappy with Joe Biden and this administration. This isn't, this isn't a political, oh, he's a Democrat, I'm a Republican, so I don't like Joe Biden. The stuff he's doing, the moves that are being made, are, are literally, I, I saw something that said he couldn't make this many mistakes unless he was trying to. And, and that's when you know these aren't mistakes that are being put in place. There is a very structured agenda to what is happening in the White House with this administration. It is not by mistake that he is putting people in charge that continue to push this agenda. And, and whether it's putting someone in charge that wants to replace banks with the Fed, you know, one person. One person over money to rule them all, right? That doesn't sound socialist at all, right? Um, there's just so many things, so many wrongs. It seems like every move is wrong. And, and that's only if you're on the perspective of trying to be in a free capitalist society. Look, capitalism, like it or not, the United States, America, we we are in a capitalist society. That is why we thrive is due to people being able to make money off of their efforts and ventures. That is what drives this economy. That is what drives this country. That's why all the other people in other countries want to be in this country. You have opportunities to create your own path. Your hard work gets rewarded duly upon your hard work. So if everybody gets rewarded equally, guess what? You don't have anybody out there overachieving anymore. It just doesn't happen. This isn't even about that. This, this right now, I just want to talk to you about your news sources. I got friends and family. They still hold on to the regular news, your regular TV, MSNBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, all of them, all of them push their agenda for ratings. Not only that, they're all being told what to say. They're reading from a script verbatim. Their news is not news. Their news is what they want you to see. The Kyle Rittenhouse, that whole thing right now, Depending on what channel you watch, they're going to tell you he's a racist, he's a this, he's a that. This day and age, the information doesn't have to be fact-based, doesn't have to be true, doesn't have to be any of that. Uh, they are flat out lying 
to create what they want to create. And, it, and at this point, I can't say that it's anything other than chaos and divide. Um, literally, I don't care what you think about anything. It's so painfully obvious that we're being fed a, a cart full of shit. We're not being told the truth. And even when you change your Google, your search engines, your this, your that, you're still being guided in a certain light. And there is still misinformation. So what's the point of this video? Well, it's a bit of a vent. It's a little bit of a rant because I'm frustrated. But I want to encourage all of you, don't rely on any one person. Don't rely on some guy whose views you like. Don't rely on somebody just because he seems to have it together or he seems to know the answer. Don't rely on any one thing or person at all. Uh, this is the age where you shut up and you look and you listen and you start to make these determinations for yourself. That's gonna be what keeps you and your family safe. That's what's gonna matter because all the outside stuff, all the smoke and mirrors, all the press, all the this and that, look, if you just watch, if you just look, look at what's happening. Look at the shelves going bare. Look at the price of gas going up. Just look at what's happening. You can use some pretty simple deductive reasoning that, that tells you things are afoot. Things are happening. Things are moving. And not, not for the positive. You know, we're not getting more freedom. Uh, right now, there's a huge fight. It's going to be a matter of pick, pick your battle lines. You know, what side are you on? And when is too much too much? And what are you going to actually do about it? We all get heated about stuff. Look, the reality is, I don't want to mess anything up. I've got a wife and kid at home. I'm not eager to rush out and do something stupid. At the same time, I'm not eager to be spoon-fed the shit and like it. I'm not eager to get in line and take what I'm handed. That for me doesn't work. Look, be safe, prep, prepare, prepare for anything, prepare for nothing, prepare, prepare for everything. I mean, at this point in time, it's all on the table. Things that are happening right now, I never thought I would see happen in my lifetime ever. I'm seeing things, I just never believed it. I never believed it could happen. Uh, it disgusts me. I don't like the direction of it. There are good people out there. There are people that are fighting for us, our rights, our freedoms. Uh, there, There's good people. And the only way that they're going to survive all this is with support of other good people. Pick a side. Actively help those you believe in. Um, and actively take part in taking care of you and your family. If you think the government's going to be there for you, if you think the government has your best interests at heart, you're dead wrong. I promise you they don't. They don't think about Tom in Florida and his family and how it's going to affect him. They don't. They don't give a damn. That goes for everybody. So use multiple sources. You want information, search for it. But the best information you can get is what you see and hear with your own eyes. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Things are happening. We see them. Take that into account. Make a mental note. Be aware and act accordingly. That's it. Be aware and act accordingly for you and your family. Uh, that's the best we can do at this point. Get prepared, folks. Uh, I'm not trying to bust anybody's bubble. It's Friday. I'm heading on vacation tomorrow. Uh, we're going to bring a lot of cool stuff from the mountains of Georgia, which I am pumped about. Anyway, thank you, everybody, for your support. Stay safe out there. Help each other. Be smart. Be aware. We'll see you soon. This is Pirate Prepping. See you next time. <laughs>